Now we're headed to the Rhone, and we have a Rhone Red um, from Uvica, which I would call this one, or I guess it's from Vigneron Ardichois, um, which is a group of producers, I think it's 12 of them in the Rhone, um, that bring their wines together, and they have their own, but then they also will basically do like larger scale productions of um, white and red Rhones, just like uh, the base level ones of them, mix of Grenache and Syrah. Um, and I would normally say that this can be another one of your stealth bottles where you can bring your natural wine and no one ever know it's natural, but it does say in big letters on the front, made with organic grapes. Might be a bit of a giveaway, um, but otherwise it would be really tough to know. This is a very classic style of um, a Rhone Red. So starting with that, so starting with the color, um, it's quite deep, very ruby. Um, it smells like it is a bright young thing. <laughs> so I was going back to my like W set days. Um, it certainly is evocative of doing like the normal grid. Um, and this would this would pass the normal grid as well. So um, on the nose, it has like, it has like this almost like meatiness to it. It's like, it's like earthy. Um, it has dark fruit, so <laughs> plums and I would say blackberries mostly. But there's this like, I don't know, I don't know exactly how to describe the meatiness. I swear that it's like, it's a good thing. Um, it's not like leather, it's, I don't know. It's, it's something evocative of like a meat that you cook or like, and it's not smoky. I imagine you'll get it when you guys find it. Let me know what I'm actually trying to say. So let's try it. Quite full body. Um, quite full body, medium tannin. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just reverting back to my conventional wine days here because that is so what this wine is. This is just real, real stealth natural wine here. Um, yeah, so it's a really great just general representation of what a red Rhone traditional wine would taste like. It's a bit uh, rustic in that regard as well. So um, dark fruit still there. It is, it has like, a, I don't know if I already said like violets and like it has like a deep floral characteristic to it as well. It has for like how inexpensive it is, it is pretty pretty uh, complex, I would say, and the finish is quite long, so great job to them. Um, and then as far as foods go, like, I would put this with, I would put this with, like, Lyonnais food, which makes sense because it's not that far from it, but, like, um, uh, I would put it with, like, lamb and potatoes. I would put it with uh, stuff with a lot of butter. <laughs> so that's what I think of when I think of Lyonnais food, which is delicious. Uh, I would put it with chicken pot pie, um, and I know we're, we're still in April, um, so again, I can't just do all glue glue wines throughout that season. You got to have something to break it up. Plus, sometimes it's cold. Like we had lamb the other day because it's freezing here. So that's what I would, that's what I would put it with. Um, it's not a porch pounder. It is a, you're having some traditional meal and you're, maybe you're having your grandma over. This is the one. <laughs> 